And finally to Russia, where Vladimir Putin turned 72. From spy to politician, Putin's career has been cemented over his 25-year reign, but not without heavy criticism. From facing global isolation over the invasion of Ukraine to clamping down on political dissent at home, Putin's rise has been contentious, to say the least. The West and Russian dissidents have often called out Putin's authoritarianism. Our final report looks back. God save the Tsar. What a fitting start to Vladimir Putin's birthday. At 72 years young, the Russian president continues to bask in the adoration of loyal followers, reminding the world that his reign isn't just about politics. It's a legacy in the making. Tsar, of course, was the title of Russia's supreme male monarch until 1917. And if today's Russia had to crown someone with that title, who else but Putin himself? With every candle he blows out, Putin solidifies his presence not only as Russia's leader, but as a global political heavyweight. To say that Russia is Putin and Putin is Russia has never rung truer. For nearly 25 years, he's navigated the turbulent waters of global power struggles with one unflinching ambition, the resurrection of the Soviet Union's glory days. Make no mistake, as Putin's dreams aren't small, he envisions Russia towering over the world stage, leaving even the most powerful nations in awe. His rise from the gritty streets of post-war St. Petersburg to the heights of global power is nothing short of cinematic. Born in 1952 to a modest family, a young Putin didn't exactly have the world at his feet. But with a fierce determination and a black belt in judo, he maneuvered his way through the ranks, transforming from a KGB spy to a formidable political force. In 1991, the Soviet Union had collapsed. A young Putin who served his country loyally was left disheartened. By 1999, Russia wasn't just weak economically, but they struggled to keep a strong military as well. But then things changed. Putin took Russia's political scene by storm, ready to rewrite history. Fast forward to 2022, the year Putin decided to wage war against Ukraine. Putin also won the presidential elections in a landslide victory. His victory in the post-Soviet landscape wasn't just a political achievement. It was a masterclass in consolidating power. Putin didn't just win an election, he won over an entire nation, making them believe that his desires were theirs. His decision to stand up to the West and invade Ukraine, though controversial, solidified his iron grip on Russia's future. At 72, the West may call him an autocrat, even a killer, but none of that seems to faze him. Putin stands defiant, portraying his war in Ukraine as a continuation of an age-old battle against a declining West. For him, the West humiliated Russia after the Cold War. As NATO expanded closer to Russian territory, Putin decided to turn the tables. He launched the special operation on territories Moscow held dear. Of course, Kiev and its allies call it an imperialistic land grab. But for Putin, it's about restoring Russia's pride and power. Despite the chaos and the headlines, here he is, still towering over the world stage. His birthday brings not just greetings, but reaffirmations of loyalty from allies far and wide. Chechnya's Ramzan Katirov, Putin's loyal foot soldier, hails it as a day of significance for all of Russia. Belarus, too, sends its warmest regards, with President Alexander Lukashenko commending Putin for his unwavering commitment to Russia's historical mission and his personal sense of duty to the nation. And so as Putin celebrates another year, the world watches with bated breath. Russia's modern day Tsar, whether in title or in spirit, shows no signs of stepping down from the throne. His reign continues, with no clear end in sight. And if today's birthday wishes are any indicator,
Putin's legacy is firmly rooted in the minds of his people. First Post decodes the U.S. election. Explains how America chooses its president. Your primer on the race to the White House. Everything you need to know about how America votes and its global implications. U.S. Election Explained. Every Monday and Thursday only on First Post.